Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a look at how to make a paracord cross. It can be made into a great looking keychain or pendant. It looks something like this. And it is made using the cross knot. Now, the first thing we're going to do is take one piece of paracord and we're going to start lining up cross knots on it. We first fold it in half and then we start tying the cross knot by making a loop then placing the cord behind and again behind like this. So it goes over, under, under and then we take the bottom cord fit it behind the knot then through the top loop and through the bottom loop and then we tighten the knot up by pulling on each of the cords to remove the slack like this as you can see the top loop is a bit uh, big so i'm gonna remove some more cord out of it and there we have our first cross knot and we can insert a rope thimble at this point if you're going to use one. It can be adjusted at this point so it's easier to make. And we continue lining up cross knots at this point. We need four for our vertical end. So again, making the basic shape used for the cross knot, then taking our bottom cord feeding it through the top loop and through the bottom and then again tightening up the knot we're going to want the knot to be as close to the, uh, the first knot as possible so we're going to remove the cord in between by pulling it out of the knot like this Okay, and we're going to line up two more, and at that point I will be back with you. Okay, I am back, and I've lined up four cross knots in a row, which we use to make the vertical part. We now need to make the horizontal end as well. We're going to take a smaller piece of paracord, and we're going to fold it in half. And again, we're going to make the cross knot at the top. There. But we're not going to leave the top part here. We're going to pull it out of the knot because we don't need loops at the sides of the cross. So like this, and then we remove this slack of cord. And I'll, I'll just adjust the knot a bit so it looks nice. Okay, I think that's nice. And as you can see, the knot passes through the back of the cross. And I'm going to do that as well. I'm going to pull this back side apart and I'm going to insert the two ends of paracord through the back. Okay, I am back and as you can see I've pulled the cords through the back of the, the vertical part and I now need to finish this by making another cross knot. So going like this then
feeding it through and now I'm going to tighten the knot. I want this knot to be as close to the top as possible. Still have some slack left, so I'm going to again pull out the cords. Okay, I think this is good. At this point, you could cut the cords if you wanted to finish the cross here and here and you would be done.